this giant 700 by 200 foot barge is at Ball Landing. The Volunteer Club, which supports NIL deals for student athletes, is hosting a series of events on that barge from concerts and tailgates to a wiffle ball tournament <laughs> with the Tennessee baseball team. It's party time on the Tennessee and 10 News reporter Olivia Degg joining us live downtown. Explain the event lineup, Olivia, and what you're seeing right now on that barge. John, I've been out here all day here at Volunteer Landing and there have been crews really working fast to get this event ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow there is a concert. It'll be Nico Moon and then on Saturday festivities include a huge tailgate getting ready for the Florida game. Big rivalry and then of course next weekend at the same barge there'll be another tailgate for the Alabama game. And even though Hurricane Helene did actually impact the way that this barge came down the Tennessee River, it delayed it a couple of days. Everyone is right on schedule and this event is ready to take place. Here's more. Barge is just a flat space and really you can do anything you want to with it. And James Clausen said the idea to turn a shipping barge into an event space for Vol Nation started two years ago about you think about Tennessee athletics, you think about the river in Neyland Stadium and you know we had the idea to have you know how could we have a floating party. This barge floated down the river from western Tennessee. Clawson said Hurricane Helene delayed its journey by a few days. I think we wanted to be mindful of you know the impact that 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 Helene had on our community and um, and not put anybody you know, government workers or any of our TWRA officials, you know, in a position where their focus was on this and it should have been on something else. The series of events include concerts, including Old Crow Medicine Show, tailgates for the Florida and Alabama games, and a wiffle ball tournament featuring Tennessee baseball. Mark Wilbanks, assistant fire chief for KFD, says they'll have EMS down here, an extra level of safety that status quo for events with alcohol. Uh, fire department, police department, everybody kind of works together to make sure that these events go off as best they can within our city. They'll also have a patrol boat. And that the river is just kind of murky and ugly and it's flowing a little faster than normal, which is a, another good reason to have our boat out on the water just in case something happens. Law enforcement says although a floating tailgate might be new, they'll manage public safety like any other event. Now, as far as parking, there's more information on their website, as well as they're just suggesting that people park in downtown garages. KPD will have a couple of officers here, and they've also hired security. And we just learned within the last hour that a Friday night event, half of the proceeds will go towards the Mountain Ways Foundation. That's going to help support Hurricane Helene uh, victims. And that's the same foundation that Dolly Parton donated some money to. So I'll send things back to you. Just another way that Tennessee spirit and that volunteer spirit is continuing even with big fun events like this one. Olivia Degg by the River Forest. We'll see you back here at six o'clock. Olivia, thank you. Up next.